Okay, today we got some repairs to do. We are going to fix the starter cord in our steel blower. Seems like when it rains it pours. It's like the string broke on this and when we got ready to leave we had a flat tire in the car, so go figure. I did go ahead and go to the steel dealer and got some new cord. I believe this is three millim millimeter. There's like eight different sizes of that stuff. Um, I have the cord and the handle left over, which is just going to pull that out and get rid of the piece that was in there. Also, I have a pair of scissors, cut the cord to length, a lighter to melt the end of the cord so it won't fray, and also a set of Torx tipped like screwdriver things. So, Let's get this thing taken apart and see what we can do. So, we're just going to go ahead and take this off. And I have a lid here. I'm just going to set the screws in that so they don't get lost or misplaced. A lot of these lawnmowers and string trimmers and things take these Torx nuts on there. And I got the, the screwdriver set thing. I think it was like $9. It wasn't much. So it's worth the money to just go ahead and, and get a set of them. See, so drop that one right there. That's three of these. Hopefully I won't have to take this one out up here at the top. So it looks like that's actually just kind of holding the handle together. And I may have to. Yeah. Alright, that one's a little bit different than the threads on the other two, so... Should be easy to keep them separate. This has coarse threads, this one has fine. And here we can see our broken cord. So we're going to scoop this back over here. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this out of there. And right in here is the end of the knot. I think I may have to go get a pair of Maybe, maybe not. Oh, actually pushed right on through. Thought I was going to have to get a pair of needle nose pliers, but they actually pulled through. So, I'm just going to go ahead and pull that the rest of the way out. Okay, I'm just trying to get the real hard parts off of that. Now we got a nice point on that. There. All right. Now we got it started. There we go. So the secret to this is try to get this as pointed as possible. Then that way it feeds through that hole pretty easy and then you can go ahead and grab it. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a knot on the end of this. Alright. Pull it really tight. And I got that pretty close to the end. So I'm going to pull that back down in here and push that knot so that it's in there seated down inside of that okay so 
coil it clockwise on here. This is my first time fixing this one, so excuse me if I have to <laughs> revisit something. Nothing ever goes perfectly as planned the first time, right? All right, there we got a coil loop. Now I'm not gonna put all these screws in here just yet because I wanna make sure that I've got this in here right. Got it coiled the right direction. So even though I fought it on the table, I think we got it. Yeah, I'm just going to coil that up just a little further. Alright. And for now, I'm not going to cut that. So, let's try this and make sure it's going to start. So there you go. That was pretty, pretty simple fix, really. So when you wind that on there in the housing, make sure you go clockwise. So like I said, I'm going to be honest with you. If I screw it up, I'm going to tell you the first time, and then we'll go back and fix it. I'm not professional, and I'm not going to pretend to be. It runs. It works. We're good. And I probably just saved. 35 or 40 dollars most of the uh, small engine repair people around here get 60 dollars an hour so and while I am at it I'm going to go ahead and spray some carburetor cleaner in here and clean this carburetor as gross So you can fix this stuff, you just have to look up the instructions on how to do it, and it's it's simple. No reason somebody can't do this. Alright, there we go. All done. Ready to blow some more. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off, but I'm going to leave just a little bit of length on that. Go ahead and... Out the end of that. So that, we're done. Thanks for watching my repair video.